Danny, uh, like this is all right. Yeah. Danny Cassius Connor as well commentating. Fighting Mick Mills, and I'm pleased to be joined by a former forward. A nice left hook there for Spanish, oh. Danny Connor. Welcome, Danny. All right, mate, how you going? All right? I'm oh, very well, thank you. So, obviously, for those that don't know, you fought Chris Evangelou twice beforehand. Yeah. And uh, you come away with the, the wins. Yeah, the first one was quite close. Could have gone either way, but he's a. Uh, He's gone up away since then. I think the weight might have killed him a little bit. That's what he told me, so wouldn't be no reason for him to lie. I think that where the weight killed him a little bit, he's moved up now. To be fair, he looks like uh, he looks he looks in good shape, so see how he is, you know what I mean? He's looking nice and elusive, so looking, see how it goes on through the fight. Looking sharp as you say, he's just well that's his first one at the welterweight division. Yeah, and that's he started right. really fast, catching Mills with a left hook first of all. Look, yeah, he's got yeah. Mills, a bit of a character of the scene. Yeah, I don't really know much about that Mills, but he's, um, he's a journeyman, is he, yeah? Well, he's only had a few fights. He's, he's had, had three, but lost three, and he's a bit of a character from what I know. Is he, yeah. he lets the ring girls out in between See him shadow boxing with the ring car girls now. He's a madman. So, uh, yeah, he's a bit of a character, and he'll certainly ask some questions of Evangelou. And obviously, Evangelou's recently changed trainers. Not, not good. He's had a few fights under Don Charles now, and yeah. I know John has... Uh, sorry, Don has tried to make him more aggressive. Obviously, got a good family, good amateur pedigree. Do you know what? Some nice left hooks to the body. That's there. one thing I'll say about Chris. When I boxed him, he he had no game on the inside. Like that's that that's what we knew that I had to do: get close to him and get get him on the inside because he didn't like it up close. But to be fair to him, with this kid here, he looks like he's uh, he's working a bit harder on the inside. He looks looks a bit more compact as well. He's banging them left hooks in, so he's looking like. Don's done, you know, they've worked on that, they've addressed that problem, so that's really, he's, he's a good kid, do you know what I mean, he was a brilliant amateur, Chris, he was a really good amateur, went to the Olympic trials with Cyprus, I think he, he only used to lose to, to the to the best lads in the, in the amateurs, I think, I see him lose in a box club to Brad Skeet one year, you know, obviously look at Brad Skeet now doing really well, so he's, he's got the pedigree there, and you know he can do it, so I think it was just like, obviously what he said, addressing a few of those problems that he had, uh, few of the thoughts that he had. Yeah and hopefully he can um, hopefully he can he can come again and like do something do something with his career you know them couple of losses or whatever. Well he's had three losses now. But look anyone can see like a loss don't mean in the end of the world. As long as you keep on going and keep doing what you're doing then it's all right. Or well, sometimes you can learn more from a loss than you can from the win and as you said if if you noticed it obviously up close it wasn't a good that's obviously what they've noticed from from his fights beforehand and his losses. Tell you what, he, to work he, on looks, he looks like a different fighter, to be fair. Like, when I boxed him, you would never have seen him up close like that. And Mills yeah. down at the end of the round there, and I guess it was just an uppercut at the end. Evangelou's back on his stall. The referee's administering a count. He's counted out by oh. the round the name was sat on the seat. That is the first yeah, I've ever see, seen, yeah. Danny. I have never seen a knockout where the fighter sat on the stool. Oh, mate. I think he might have done his eardrum. A nice little... He's holding his ear there, so the same as... Who knows? Up and up, he was hurt. I'll tell you what, again, like, he looked... That's the best Chris Evangelo I've probably seen in his pro career, you know? Like, he's up close, nice and tight, banging in the hooks to the body and that. They were saying about me and him having a rematch one day, but seeing that, I think I'll give him a swirl. <laughs> I mean... One thing I would say with regards to Evangelou, if you've been a bit critical in the past, maybe he relied on his counter punching a bit too much, but obviously they've tried to make him more aggressive and he certainly was that today. I tell you what, he looked good. He looked good compared to what he, he looked in the past. Like I said before, he was he weren't physical at all. He used to try and float about and he didn't really sit on his shots maybe and that's why he weren't doing what he was doing. But look at there, he's put a bit of weight on, he looks good for it, he sat down on his shot and banged in a few hooks there and, and he's hurt the kid. I mean, and that kid was in pain there. You could see he did, you know what I mean? He's done well there, so fair play to him. He's, he's made a comeback, three losses in a row and, he, and you know what I mean? He's back now, so you can't, uh, you can't knock him. He's done really well. So it's just a case of seeing where he goes now. Obviously moved into the, yeah. the welterweight division. It is a tough <laughs> division, the welterweight. It's a big division. It is. You know, he, I think he'll have to have a few more at welter before before he sort of moves on to anything else. But, you know, he's just got, once he's got a few more and he's settled in at the weight, maybe a couple more journeymen or an eight rounder for a, a bronze title, then who knows, you know what I mean? You just don't know what's possible.
I'm just going to the MC for confirmation. Seeing him again, and Danny, thank you for joining us. For yeah, this cheers, one. lads. Nice one. Back to Mene. 